Well, hello there, it's Clint and welcome to another tutorial. So for the past couple of weeks, I've been manipulating and deleting Word objects to take better screenshots. So for example, I would delete a tree because it was blocking the view of my build. Plus in the past, multiple times, I used windows to delete or better hide roof walls. With the upcoming Echo Living expansion pack, we get apartments. And I was looking at those apartments and I thought, the possibilities, and I was so excited. But my first thought was, these windows suck. And that got me thinking, is there a way to change apartment windows? And you know what? Yes, there is. And I am so excited to show you how. Disclaimer, I don't know if anyone else made a tutorial about this or figured it out before me, but I randomly thought about it and I was so excited, so I instantly wanted to share it. I'm a doer, not a planner. Moving on. So, first things first, you need to have the tool mode. Now, if you don't know what the tool mode is, it's essentially the most powerful mode for a builder to have. I will have the download link in the description, and after you download it, install it, do whatever you do with your mods, take them to a nice dinner, go to the movies. I don't know what you do with your mods, but I'm not gonna judge. You, <laughs> you load up an apartment. I specifically chose this one because it has this window that I hated since the beginning. It's in the worst place that it could be. So, let's see how you delete windows. Firstly, you shift and left click on the window. You'll get this menu and now you have the tool option, obviously from the tool menu. When you click on it, you get elevate, move, rotate and toggle active object. When you choose toggle active object, you can see the object is turning green. You can use this particular thing with any object around the world. Now you need to find an area where there is no rugs or any other items, an empty area essentially, and you shift, left click on it, and you get a different menu. Now you choose tool options, and from this menu you choose move active object here. And as you can see, the window is now inside our own area, which means we can delete the window. And like that, the window is gone. It belongs in the past. And it's no longer annoying me. So now let's see how you add new windows. First things first, obviously you need to choose where you want the window. In this particular case, I would love a big ass window here. You build a wall, you choose your window and the exact placement of where you want the window to be afterwards. You delete your walls. And now you have a window in the middle of the room, exactly what we wanted. Again, you shift click on the window and you choose tool and this time move. Now, I'm not particularly familiar with this option, but I will try and explain it as good as I can. As you can see, you have a grid. You have green lines and yellow lines. The green lines is the X axis. And the red lines is the Y axis. In our case, we want to move the window in the green axis and not in the red. So I will change the value of X, but not the Y. I will leave it zero. So what you do is you go one because we placed it exactly one tile apart from the wall, comma zero. And just like that, the window is in place. And it looks magnificent. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the view. Maybe not the windows in the back, but look at the view. It's a blessing. So obviously with the move option, you need to experiment a lot, especially if we're talking about diagonal walls. But always the values that you're going to use is one and minus one. So it's kind of easier as long as you place a wall one tile apart from where you want the window to be. And as you can see, the end result is always amazing. Now, let's say you made a mistake and you don't want a window there. You shift click again on an open space, you go tool options, undo. 
and if you want it back you obviously go redo now you cannot delete those windows as you cannot delete the original ones because they are snapped to the wall so if for example you want to change an apartment back to the original window or a different one you do the exact same thing as you would do with the original windows you move them and just afterwards delete them and the best part is you can do the exact same thing with doors because let's be honest apartment doors do suck <laughs> like what is that no and the change doors work as the original ones so yeah this is the tutorial i hope you found it useful i'm really excited about this if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments or reach out to me on Twitter. And thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.